Hello everyone, let's discuss another tip which can improve our REC pipeline and this is related to incorrect output format. So let's say we are working with LLM and we are expecting the response in a very specific way, whether it could be in a tabular form, it could be in a paragraph or even it could be in a bullet points. So how can we achieve this? So there are multiple ways to achieve it and I assume you have already worked on those but still because of some reason we are not getting the expected output and this is the problem which I am going to discuss in this particular video. So let's have a look at the formal definition which I have grabbed it from the research paper and it says the question involved extracting information in a certain format such that uh, such as a table or list and the large language model ignored the instruction. It means although we are asking LLM to provide in certain format but still for whatever the reason it is just skipping our instructions or ignoring our instructions. So how can we work with this kind of problem? So there are multiple ways and like I said I will be pointing seven different ways to deal with this problem. Let's have a look at the very first one. The first one is write clear instructions. So whenever you are providing the prompt, make sure that you are very specific, descriptive, as well as the detailed. The more context or the relevant information or the instructions we will provide, we will get the better response. So make sure to provide the desired context, the outcome you are expecting, the length, your format, format as well as your style. So if you are providing all these things, definitely you will see some improvement in your output. Let's talk about the next one which is provide reference text. So sometimes it is possible that uh, uh, LLM is not able to understand what we are trying to say. In that case you can get started with the zero shot and if it doesn't work then go with the few shot examples wherein you will provide some examples that this is what you are expecting and for any reason if your zero shot or the few shot is not working then fine tuning could be your best friend there. Another one is test with multiple prompts. So definitely you must have already done it. But if you're using Azure OpenAI, then you should try Azure Prompt Flow. So in that, you can just run your LLM once and get all your prompts evaluated. So rather than like executing multiple times, you can just do one run and you will get all the outputs of from all the different prompts in just one shot. So this is one way to evaluate your responses. Another one is split complex tasks. So I have seen uh, people where they are providing a huge paragraph with the complete instructions and sometimes it is very cumbersome for the LLM to understand. So it's always good to provide your instructions in a very clear, in a short form, let's say one by one, the step by step fashion so that it can understand in a very good way. But uh, for example, let's say with some reason you are not able to break your instructions. So in that case what you can do is you can just go in a chaining fashion. So execute one instruction, get the response from your LLM and pass that response to the next chain which is again the part of your entire uh, LLM system. So if you are making multiple calls for the large complex problem then your job is only to parse the final output which is executed by the final LLM chain. So if you are doing this then definitely you can handle your complex task as well. Another thing is understand output format. So this is one of the most prominent one. So you are trying to parse the output but you are not sure what kind of output your LLM is spitting because there may be uh, scenarios wherein your existing parsers or the inbuilt parsers would not work. In that case you may have to write your own code to format the output. So if you're writing your own code, you must be aware that what kind of data you are formatting. So that is the reason I'm saying you should first understand what kind of information or what kind of output format your LLM is spitting so that you can generate the responses based on your requirement. Another one is use output parser. So like I said, there are two ways to parse the output. One is by using clear instructions in your prompt itself. And another one you could go with is output parsers. So output parsers, you can consider them as a module which are provided by both LangChain as well as Llama Index. So you can have a look at those implementations and get your output formatted in the way you want. So those are the classes which are already written for us. You just need to make a call to them. So I'm sure you can visit the documentation of LangChain and Llama Index. You will get a much better idea over there. Next one is the Pytentic. So Pytentic is a, a framework you can say which can, converts your input string in a very structured Pytentic object. 
So let's say you have very specific need and you want your LLM output to be in the form of name, age, city. Now, definitely LLM is not going to parse that. You have to write your own logic to get those things extracted. So in that case, Pydentic would be your friend. And if you don't know how this Pydentic work, I can quickly point you to my video. So this is my channel and I'm just searching for Pydentic. And here you can see the second video, how to get started, uh, how to get structured response from OpenAI. So in this video, I explained about how to get the responses based on your already written classes. So that is one starting point. You can take it up. And I hope these are the seven points which can give you pretty much good idea about how to get the formatted output. Thanks for watching.